Ryan Powell of Iron Run Far here with Stevie Kremer before the 2014 Zagama Marathon. How are you doing, Stevie? Oh, just peachy. How are you? I'm doing all right. Uh, how do you love the uh, the pressure of uh, international racing? I think, um, you know, it's always exciting to be out here, but um, there's a lot of people here, which they're all super nice, but it, it definitely makes me a little bit more nervous for this kind of event. Uh, you definitely had some experience last year. You had a... You basically did the sky running series uh, around Europe and had some pretty good success. How did last season go for you? You know, I, <clears throat> I did have a little bit of success. I think it was a little bit of success. As a little luck might have been in there too. Um, I was living in, in Europe for most of the summer um, because I was in Italy the year before. So now I'm back in Colorado. So the training's definitely been a little different. Um, you know, I'm at altitude there without the technical terrain. We've had so much snow in Colorado that we haven't been on many trails at all, mm -hmm. if any. Um, and here it's just very technical. <laughs> so we'll see how tomorrow goes. This race in particular, yeah, uh, up on the ridge and that descent. Mm -hmm. uh, you did race here last year, mm -hmm. came in third. Mm -hmm. um, where were the highlights of the race for you last year? I have to say that the support along the course is pretty incredible, like no other race I've ever done. I mean, they line, the spectators line the course, patting you as you go up. It's pretty incredible. Um, you know, I don't mind technical uphill so much. It's the technical downhill that I'm more nervous about. So the uphill, I'm okay. <laughs> and how did that go for you last year, the technical descent? Pretty bad. Um, you know, Emily passed me pretty much right at the top. I, um, and I know she's, she's a strong up and down. I think she's even stronger going down. Um, but yeah, she passed me at the top and then Nuria passed me a little bit halfway through some of the technical descent. And then I think the last 5K or something, it, it, flattened, it, it smooths out just a little, mm -hmm. enough that you feel a little more comfortable and I was able to run a little faster at that point. So Nuri had flew by you and flew then... by me, but gave me words of encouragement, <clears throat> screaming at me to come on, and so I tried to, and at least I kept third place. <laughs> but you almost made up to second place. I did. She she de she wasn't too too far ahead of me. I think on the results that she beat me by three seconds, but I think she really did come in more like 20, 30 seconds ahead of me. But she's Spanish and everyone loves her, and so I think she was just excited to become second and so, but then she saw me coming around the corner and crossed that finish line pretty quick. Yeah, through the rest of your season, you had a, some pretty good racing versus uh, Emily. Yeah, you know, but Emily also, she did a lot of the ultras last mm -hmm. year, so I think that definitely made her tired for some of the races that we did together. Mm -hmm. um, I ran against in Mont Blanc and then, uh, and then Limone, that was it. Cause she did old tracks, whereas I did Pikes Peak. Okay. So, um, but you know, Limone, she had just come off doing the, that race in the U.S. in Vail. Okay, yeah, the U-Rock. Mm -hmm. So I think she was definitely tired from that. So she, she'll definitely be strong tomorrow. And talking to her yesterday, she definitely almost looks at it the other way. It's like, she's racing all these different distances, but say you get to specialize in, right. you know, this might be more the longer range mm -hmm. time-wise, but in this two, three, four hour range. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, do you think that is a, a strength, having that specific nature of your training? You know, I, I've, I've really rarely ever run more than three hours. There's, you know, it, the, the marathons I've run in Europe are definitely a little bit longer. Like, I think Mont Blanc was a little over four hours. This one's almost five hours. Mm -hmm. So the marathons here are definitely a little bit longer for me. But in the U.S., most of the marathons I run are close to three hours mm -hmm. so I don't typically I've, I don't think I've ever gone on a run in the states longer than three hours so that that could definitely play a role for sure so this is close to your maximum you've ever oh yeah this is the max I've ever run yes last year here last year here <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so you haven't had a chance to train much on technical terrain um this year but you had a really good ski season I did I had a fun ski season and I definitely think skiing helps with with running I, you know I don't know how much it helps with the downhill but um you know, just to keep you in shape, I, it obviously helps you. Yeah. I mean, you also get to take a break from the pounding of running. Which I think is important for me. And, you know, I, I like that balance of totally changing it up in the winter. I, I run maybe once a week in the winter, just to, on the road, mm -hmm. just to do something different from skiing. But other than that, I'm primarily skiing. When did you switch back over to, to running? 
You know, we just got a huge snowstorm in Crested Butte two weeks ago. So, I mean, I haven't been running that long consistently, I yeah. should say. So, a few weeks now. So, kind of like the rest of the European top yeah. athletes yeah. from Europe, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how long have you been running in total? Well, you know, I, I always ran, I ran indoor track in high school, but that was just kind of for fun. I was never competitive. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I moved to Crested Butte, um, I started liking the mountains because I didn't have them in Connecticut. I went to school in Colorado Springs where we had Pikes Peak really close. And my, the s summer after I graduated, I ran the um, Boulder Marathon, the Boulder Backwards Marathon. Mm -hmm. And that was my first long race. And I, I never, I mean, I didn't do that great. And then I just signed up for a few marathons, but I never did great. Um, and then I moved to Crested Butte, and that's kind of where I found the mountains. My second or third summer after living there, I entered my first race, mm -hmm. and I was dead last with my friend. Yep, in an oversized t-shirt. I think it was my boyfriend's at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and my lacrosse shorts. But I had so much fun that that kind of opened up the trail running, mountain running world for me, which, to be perfectly honest, I still don't really know the difference between mountain running and trail running. I, I don't know. Does there need to be one? There is one. There is one. People will argue there is one. I don't know what it is. You like to be on the dirt in the mountains. Exactly, though. on trails. There you go. Yep. <clears throat> so, you've gone from you know being the last at a trail race to you know being at the front of the trail races. Is it still as much fun? You know, it's always <laughs> exciting. And especially if you do well, you have this sense of, like you've really accomplished something great mm -hmm. and the way people treat you here is just incredible and not only here all the races that mm -hmm. you do also in the u.s there's just a lot more of it in the in europe and you know it obviously it feels good to do well in a race it doesn't feel so great when you don't do well but that's the nature of it all so yeah you have uh emily again tomorrow you have mm -hmm. nuria mm -hmm. does it feel like you're just picking up where you ended off last year yeah you know, I, I know Nuria is always going to be strong, and this is her. This is like her place, just like it's Killian's place. So that's definitely going to give her a little encouragement. I bet Emily's pretty excited and pushing because you know she did fall in Transvolcania, so she probably wants to do really well here. Mm -hmm. But I also think you know Landy from South Africa is going to do awesome. She's a great runner. Casey Edmund, she's an awesome runner. You know, I, I, there's a lot of, and there's locals here that the are Basques super, are, yeah, yeah, and they know this terrain, so, yeah, I think it's kind of anyone's, it's going to be interesting what's going to happen tomorrow. You think you can improve upon last year? I hope I can do a little bit better on the downhill, although you did just scare me, even like a toe hitting the rock, you're done for, <laughs> you check your teeth. <laughs> Sorry about so, that. Yeah, no, <laughs> but I think, you know, who would have thought Emily would have hurt herself mm -hmm. at the start line? You just never know what's going to happen at these races. And you just hope people still like you if you don't do so great. <laughs> well, good luck out there. Well, thank and, uh, you. Have fun. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you.